Welcome to a lesson with Dr. Powell. Let's look at an idea. This polar equation represents a circle. How is that so? Let's think about this. Let's think about this point as being r comma theta, so for a given theta value. Let's let phi um, be the angle, the complementary angle right here to this by halves. Now we know that sine theta is replaceable by cosine of phi, um, since they're, these are complementary angles. Now, what does that tell us? Well, let's see. Let's just take this um, point from here to here and make it be equal to one going up and down. No, that's phi. And this is the cosine of phi going this way. Now, by nature of the cosine of the angle, um, this is a right angle because um, if phi has sides um, cosine and, and sine here, we know that's a right angle. So even just having cosine will guarantee that you have a right angle coming from here to here. Now, we know, okay, what does that tell us? That tells us that it's a right angle on that side. And, um, and if we're going two sine theta, which is two cosine phi, we're going cosine phi and then cosine phi, and phi again. And with this particular, with this side and that angle and that side being the same as over here, this triangle is congruent to this one, which means that this length is congruent to that one, which means this must also be one, meaning that um, where we are right here is actually one away from that point. Now, since phi was arbitrary, it's always one away. So it wraps around as a circle of radius one. Thanks for watching.